In this video, we're going to be testing out the brand new Edge Light 2.0 from LumCube and seeing how good this thing really is for toy photography. Man, am I excited for this. So right here is the LumCube Edge Light 2.0 kit, which comes with two. So typically the Edge Light is more for like conference calls and lighting for like streaming if you're on like webcam, but I think with the way these are built, these are absolutely perfect for tabletop toy photography, diorama toy photography, or even like digirama computer screen toy photography. So I'm really excited to open these up and to see how we can use these for toy photography. So these were sent to me by the wonderful people at LumCube. Thank you, LumCube. I'm a huge fan of everything LumCube does. I use them in every single toy photo, pretty much, unless I'm just using sunlight. And if you're interested in these or really any type of LumCube product, make sure you're using my code Jared15 for 15% off any purchase, which is actually pretty significant. And of course, as always, I've got the link right in the description for these. If you want to quickly just grab one of them right now. So what makes these unique and different than the other ones is they're on this really articulated light stand with like three different uh, points of articulation, like an action figure. And they've also got the desk mount. So it's, it's, it's seriously gonna be so perfect for indoor toy photographers. I don't know what the heck happened here. It looks like someone tried to take a stab inside the G over there. Without further ado, let's open these guys up and just check them out. Okay, so here it is. I've got one already set up, kind of lighting up the other one for me to talk about it. So it's got this super long neck, as you can tell, which is really nice. You've got more than three main points of articulation. You've got one, two, three, and you've also got some swivel going on here, and also swivel up here. So you can get it in all kinds of positions. So it's got the nice, super handy, super sturdy desk mount, which is how it's on there like this. It's got the little twisty clamp. Uh, and so this is where you plug it in. And it also has two output things too. So if you want to charge like your phone while you got it plugged in, you can do that, <laughs> which is pretty sweet. So if you look right here on the arm, that's where you've got your controls. You've got your power button right here, just like that. And then this here is to adjust how warm or how cold your light is. So that's pretty cool, just like you would normally expect from a Loom Cube. And so this is how you can just turn the brightness down. Very, very simple, very, very easy to access, and it gets pretty bright. I think this is really cool, and I think this is really handy for anyone who's got like a desk or a table where they do all their toy photos, their diorama stuff, all right there. You can clamp it onto the side and it becomes like a semi-permanent fixture that you can just turn on whenever you need it and move it and maneuver it to wherever you need it. And it's really cool because you can get that really difficult to get like directly above lighting angle, which is pretty tough if you're just using like a tripod. This with that really great articulated arm, you can do that and put it wherever you want. So I think this is really cool. It's not quite as versatile, but it's really perfect for that, that indoor toy photographer, uh, which I think is awesome. I think it's really awesome. So I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna set this one up at my desk by my computer and see if I can get some really cool overhead lighting with a Digirama and see if I can maneuver it in a way where I don't get any glare or anything on my computer screen with that. So I think that'll be really cool. I'm gonna go set it up. Okay, here we go. So I'm all set up at my desk here. I've got my SH Figure Arts Mando over here in a nice walking pose. And I'm using my computer screen as the background. I actually made this background using the generative fill in Photoshop, which was actually really cool. And I tried to make it look like the scene in the beginning of season three of Mando where he's walking through bo hallway. Uh, and it worked out pretty good. And so far, it's looking not so bad in camera. I've got my light, my edge light over here on the right hand side of him uh, to kind of mimic the light that's in the background of the photo. So far that's looking pretty good and I was able to, to bring it all the way around in a really great spot with this arm, which is really cool. I've also got a, a notebook right over here to try and bounce a little bit of the light. So then there's still a little bit of light on the Mando's left hand side as well. My settings are pretty straightforward 
very slow shutter speed at 40 right now. And I'm using a very small amount of light, just enough to make everything fit. You know, I don't need a super fast shutter speed. So the key to making stuff like this work is finding a background that will work for you, something that you know you can mimic with your lighting. And that's exactly what I was going for. So I think the lighting is gonna look pretty good in the final image. I'm gonna use a little bit of atmosphere aerosol, shake it up and give a little bit of atmosphere. And we'll take the shot and uh, see how it looks. The new edge light from LumCube is surprisingly even more handy than I thought it would be and I think is absolutely essential for anyone who's got that one spot in their house they always do their indoor toy photography at. I think it's perfect for that. And if you are interested in grabbing one of these guys for yourself, please head to the link in the description and use my discount code, of course. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel too. That would be seriously amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.